I'm Greg from Zoho Expert and today I'm going to be making a quick video on the Zoho Books application. Uh, the specific video is regarding offering a discount to your customers if they pay you within a specific time frame and then automatically removing that discount if you haven't received the payment from the customer in that time frame. Before I get to the video, please do check out our channel and please make sure to like our videos and subscribe uh, to see more about what we're offering. Um, we have a playlist at the moment about automatic data and document collection from clients and people are finding really useful. So I highly recommend you check that out if you want to learn how to automatically get documents and data from your customers in CRM and then how to validate it using a um, uh, blueprint. Anyway, on with the video. So to start with, I'm assuming you've got your Zoho Books set up and you send your invoices out through Zoho Books. Now, my suggestion is that you will um, apply the faster payment discount um, in the adjustments box. So faster payment discount. Now you have to call it that each time because that's gonna be matched up with a rule later. And let's charge this person for one hour of one-to-one -one remote Zoho training. Uh, price is actually £100 per hour. And um, we're going to say minus £10, which is 10%, um, if they pay within 24 hours. Now, you can obviously explain this faster payment discount to your customers, either in your terms and conditions or in your initial terms of business, um, so they understand how the billing is going to work. Um, this video is not going to go over that. It's just going to go over the practicalities of how to check for this and then remove it if the uh, customer has not paid within the allotted time. Okay, so we're gonna go over to Zoho Flow and we're gonna create a new flow and we're gonna call this Faster Payment Discount. Now we're gonna configure this from an app. Wake up. There we go. We're going to configure this from the Books app. And we're going to run this flow every time an invoice is created. Okay, now if you don't have a connection to Zoho Flow yet, you'll see something here that says set up a connection. It's very simple. You just you just write here Zoho Books, all triggers and actions, click authorize. A pop-up will appear asking you to authorize Zoho Flow to have access to your Zoho books. I already have one set up. Okay, so now you choose your organization and go done. All right, so every time an invoice is created, whatever comes below this is gonna be run. So the first thing we want to do is we want to um, start a timer. And so we're gonna actually know the first thing we want to do is have our decision that checks, is there a faster payment uh, discount applied to this? So we're gonna look at adjustment description. And if the adjustment description equals faster payment discount, then we wanna do everything that branches off here. If not, we'll just stop there and we'll do nothing further. So once we've determined that it is a faster payment discount invoice, so e.g. you've included the faster payment discount on the invoice, then we want to go here and we want to set a delay. Now I'm making this video for a chap on Facebook who is planning on having the delay be 24 hours. So we just type in here 24 hours, but you can select any length of time that you want. And Actually, in this case, I'm going to just set it to two minutes, actually one minute. So I can show you how the uh, how this works. All right. So after one minute, we need it to refetch 
the invoice because the invoice data it has here is obviously from when the invoice was first created. But after this delay, we need to check, let's see the invoice again and check if it's been paid. So we fetch the invoice and we'll do that via the invoice uh, number. So, you know, this uh, invoice number here. Let's make sure that's unique, but I think Zoho Books does that uh, automatically for you. So we go down to Fetch Invoice. And again, you need to select your organization. I have two for some reason. Um, one's Trial and one's my Zoho One. Um, all right, so now we're going to say the invoice number. And the invoice number is equal to the invoice number that we're getting from this created invoice at the start of the process. So scroll down to invoice number. I want to search for it. Oh, we have the invoice ID. That's strange. I didn't have that before. Okay, we'll use the invoice ID. It's a bit safer to do that. So we'll go done. So now what this is doing is an invoice is being created and this flow fires. The decision says, is it a faster payment discount included on the invoice? If yes, do this. If no, do nothing. So if yes, now goes for our delay, which I've set to one minute. But in your case, you can set to 24 hours or 36 hours or however long suits you. Um, so after the delay is finished, it'll refetch the invoice. OK, so now we need another decision. So we need to say. Does the amount paid, if I can find it here, um, or let me just check what that's called again. Payment made. So we want to find payment made. And if it equals from the invoice created, if it equals the total. So if the payment made in the second fetching of the invoice matches the invoice total from the first sending of the invoice, then we know that um, that this has worked and the customer has paid. Now, you may want to instead use the total from the fetched invoice. So the latest version of the invoice, in case you might have changed the, the amount due between creating the invoice and the time span later. So if you're waiting 24 hours and something changes in between, so it's probably best for you to use the total from the fetch invoice module. OK, so now this says um, that the amount paid equals uh, amount due. So if that's the case, we want to do nothing. OK, so nothing comes off here. But if it doesn't equal the amount due, it means the customer hasn't paid. And then we want to follow down this route. So in that case, we need to update the invoice. OK, there we go. Zoho, no, not Zoho invoice. We want to go Zoho books. Update invoice. It's being very slow tonight. Okay, update invoice. Oh, let's delete that and drag it in again. There we go. Okay, so the invoice, so we've got to select our organization again. The invoice ID we can get from the fetch invoice. I always like to use the latest version of my document uh, or of whatever I fetched um, in order to get things like IDs. Um, it just prevents issues if uh, something has gone wrong. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to change the adjustment text. There. OK, so you can either leave your adjustment description the same. So it says faster payment discount and then just change the amount to zero. Yeah. Or you can change this to payment not received in 24 hours. I suggest leaving this the same and then just changing the amount to zero. 
Um, now you could put a note in here to the customer saying we did not receive your payment within 24 hours therefore the faster payment discount of and then your currency symbol or well, actually we don't even need that because I think if we go to adjustment there's a formatted adjustment perhaps not so uh, we will put the currency symbol and we will put the adjustment there oh no that's not how we do it we click okay so and remember to get the adjustment from the latest version of the invoice all right and now finally you need a reason for why you're updating the invoice so we put here uh, payment not received within 24 hours therefore faster payment discount has been removed done now at this point you may also choose to add a comment to the invoice So you can go add comment to invoice, but I'm not going to do that now. And you may also choose to send invoice again. So we go here, send invoice. And again, select organization. You leave all this blank and it'll use the, the standard ones. But in the subject, we're gonna say, we have not received your payment yet. Therefore, the faster payment discount has been removed please make payment ASAP all right you leave the body blank and it'll bring in the default and the invoice ID we want to get that from fetch invoice and we want to find invoice ID there it is done all right so to recap invoice is created on Zoho books and this will fire it'll check does does the adjustment description include faster payment discount if yes it'll do all of this if no it'll just stop there so we have an invoice that includes the faster payment discount in the adjustment it's now going to delay for the time we specified i said delay one minute because obviously i'm making a video i don't want you to wait uh, 24 hours while i record this video okay after one minute it's going to fetch that same invoice again in case you had said delay one week or 24 hours and something had changed in between like the payment being received so we fetch the new invoice and now we check does the payment does the amount paid equal the amount due if yes do nothing because we don't need to remove the discount here you might want to put send an email to your client saying thank you for paying your invoice within 24 hours we hope you enjoyed your discount of x amount of money or something like that but anyway so if they haven't paid then or haven't paid in full then we're going to update the invoice and we're going to remove that discount we're going to set it to zero okay and then we're going to resend the invoice to them all right let's see this in action so i've now turned the flow on i'm going to add this invoice so we've made our invoice we've put the amount in i think we're all good so let's go save and send and now if we go to oh, okay now remember you will have wanted to discuss this uh discount with your client beforehand all right so this is an old one so we're going to archive that so here's our initial invoice that's come in okay 90 pounds and if we look at the actual invoice document it shows that the cost is 100 pounds but the faster payment discount is 10 pounds off leaving 90 pounds total okay so now what we're currently doing is we're waiting for oh, you can ignore this do you know what i've done i have two flows on at the moment which is very annoying because that's going to bugger around with what I'm showing you. Okay, this is delaying for two minutes, so that's good. As long as I'm quick, I can show you what changes in the one minute space. 
So we're waiting for our actual flow, this one that I've just designed with you now. We're waiting for this one to finish delaying. The reason for this flow is because I wanted to test everything out before I uh, made this video. I didn't want you watching me faff about. Okay, great. The delay is over. It's now processing. As you can see, it's made the decision. It's realized that the payment hasn't been received. It's updated the invoice and it has resent us the invoice. Okay, so if we go back to mail, we can see here the subject is we have not received your payment yet. Therefore, the faster payment discount has been removed. Please make payment ASAP. Now the invoice amount is £100. And if we open the invoice, we can see that there's no longer a adjustment for faster payment discount. All right. And here you can see in the notes, we did not receive your payment within 24 hours. Therefore, the faster payment discount of minus £10 has been removed. Ah, I forgot the has been removed part, but you get the drill. So um, yeah, any questions, let me know. But I think that this is actually a really useful idea. And uh, the chap who requested this uh, on Facebook, I think you're a bright chap for um, thinking of this as an idea. I think uh, this would definitely encourage your customers to pay you a lot faster. And um, yeah, that could, that could result in some really good benefits for your business. Um, and hopefully other people on YouTube will find this video and will start implementing the same sort of system. Um, but thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please comment below if you found this useful. Thanks a lot.